yo, yo, this is Larger with another video. This right here is my TNA Lockdown 2012 predictions. This right here, pay per view event, is going to be this Sunday. Um, there's not many matches on this card, um, but it should be a decent show at best. I won't say anything spectacular, but um, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a good match. My thing is, you no know, X Division Championship match. Um, don't know why they put Aries in that thing or uh, in that uh, that team or that uh, the lethal lockdown match. I mean, if you want him to be in the main event, you should have him drop the title. Um, but I understand TNA is underneath a crisis, so I didn't see any of those guys worthy to drop it to. So there you go. Um, first match is on the card. Velvet Sky defend. Uh, well, Gail Kim defending her title against Velvet Sky. I think Velvet Sky will win this time around. Um, I think that's what they wanted to do from the get-go. I think that's why they had... Plus, you know, they wanted to throw the belt on Gail Kim. To me, you know, just shoving it in WWE's face. You know, you see, oh, you know, we we appreciate Gail Kim and all that crap. You know, and uh, Velvet Sky never got had the rematch and all that stuff. And uh, I do believe they did that, you know, just to, you know, let her win at lockdown. So I do believe Velvet Sky will defend, um, will defeat Matt, uh, Gail Kim at lockdown for the knockouts title. Um, after some, maybe a little cheesy interference from Madison Rain, but you know, everybody knows how that goes. Um, then next we have Jeff Hardy versus Kurt Angle. Now, you know, they should make this relevant towards the title match next, you know, next month. At a uh, sacrifice, maybe making a number one contenders match at the last minute, but um, uh, I do believe Hardy's gonna win here. Uh, Kurt Angle, uh, I think that's you know this is I think this kind of it for Kurt Angle. You know Kurt Angle's injuries have been holding him down as of late, and you know Kurt ain't been he he's he just pulled out of the Olympics today, so his chances of winning, you know, even though there's ways that he can win, you know cheesy ways he can win, I just see Jeff Hardy winning this matchup, you know, that's all I say, Jeff Hardy winning this matchup, um, Crimson and Matt Morgan, um, I like how this feud's kind of been built up, you know, they dropped it, level alone, you know, gave him partnership, give him trust, give him their, you know, that brotherhood or whatever you want to call it, and, you know, Crimson, you know, to stab Morgan in the back, you know, I think that Crimson will keep the streak here and probably lose that. Probably get a streak broken at Slammiversary. I think they're going to let this feud drag on to two more months and, you know, have Crimson lose a streak at Slammiversary. But if they do it at lockdown, I wouldn't doubt it at lockdown, but I just feel that Crimson just needs to win this matchup. Um, next we have Team Lethal Lockdown. We have Team Garrett Bischoff. Kiss this now. Garrett Bischoff, AJ Styles. Austin Aries, shockingly, um, Rob Van Dam and Mr. Anderson. Um, uh, oh, oh, versus, oh, sorry, uh, versus, dang, I'm a little, I'm a little tired tonight, excuse me, guys, but, uh, versus Team Eric Bischoff, because it's an Eric Bischoff himself, Bully Ray, Kazarian, Christopher Daniels, and Gunner. We have two green people in this matchup. But, um, regardless, you know, Eric Bischoff has got a show to, you know, produce and all that stuff, you know, soon. Um, and I expect him to, you know, pay attention to that a little bit. Um, so I can see Eric Bischoff losing this matchup here. Um, I see Team Garrett winning. You know, that would be stupid for, you know, the. TNA to just cut his, you know, his storyline and deal and all that stuff short. I mean, it's kind of stupid. Although, I really don't see Garrett Bischoff going that far in TNA. I mean, it's just, you know, Garrett needs more training. You know, he was pretty good. He showed a, a better showing at against all odds. But, you know, you got to do more than, you know, just a couple of arm drags Crossbody, you know, crossbody block, a shoulder block, and a few other moves that he does. Or do I see that little finisher he does, that little head thing, and you know, flips over, kind of like a, 
a head handle snap mirror. You know, that that's pretty awesome. I think that's a pretty good finisher though. Um yeah, I think Garrett needs to use that more often. But I do see Garrett Bischoff's team winning. Um and we go on to the main event, James Storm versus Robert Roode for the World Heavyweight Championship of TNA and of the world. Um, simple. I see James Storm winning this matchup. Two reasons. They stripped. The, they took the title from him in November to build up a storyline. The storyline just happens to pick off where it kind of left off in November. In which Robert Roode turned heel by slapping a water, bo uh, water bottle. Smashing a beer bottle upside the head of James Storm. In which James Storm never really got his title rematch. Um, Rude went on to defeat AJ Styles and Jeff Hardy in singles matches for the World's Heavyweight Championship. Um, and, you know, Rude kind of weaseled his way out of all both. Um, but, you know, I like how they just like picked it back up, you know. They slowly weasel storm this, you know, story back into the, you know, in, into Rude's, you know, tiring and all that stuff. <sighs> um, which I pretty knew from the get-go they was going to save it for lockdown, especially when they announced it was going to be in Tennessee, which is going to be another reason why James Storm is going to win that title. Nashville, Tennessee. <sighs> um, I see this feud continuing, maybe one more month, but that's it. Um... The year's almost over already. Well, not almost over, but, you know, half of the year's almost gone. Come Slammiversary, and, um... I don't, I don't see that much title reigns changes like I thought, you know, there were going to be. But, um... Uh, Robert Root can say he had a long one. Longer than Daniel Bryan's, I guess. Um... And I'm pretty sure he won't lose in the 18 seconds. That'd be preposterous. Um, see to the fact that TNA is all about wrestling. I give TNA credit for that. They're all about wrestling. Um, but anyway, that's it, you know, that is it. You know, TNA, like I said, this is going to be a decent show. Uh, probably one of the best of the year. Uh, anything special? Nope. Unless they have an ultimate escape match, which I seriously don't think they're going to have. Um, but you know, TNA likes to slap stuff in, so Devon will probably defend his title. But if he defends it against, he'll win. He'll win pretty much, so I mean, there's nothing big right there. Um, yeah, so that's it. I mean, this is it for TNA's uh, lockdown. You know, they're gonna have more matches. Devon will probably put the title online. They'll probably, you know, do some YouTube video telling us about it and all that stuff. So, there you go. That's That's my predictions for lockdown. Uh, this is not it for me tonight, I don't think so. I just want to talk about a few FCW superstars and why they need pushes and why they need to be on the main roster right now. So, this is one for, I guess, three for me tonight. So, talk to you later. Peace.